Protests in response to Governor Cuomo's new coronavirus restrictions. Hundreds of members of the Borough Park Orthodox community lit a fire, taking to the streets last night, letting the governor know exactly how they feel about his plan to crack down on coronavirus hotspots. Fox 5's Kayla Mamalek live this morning in Borough Park, Brooklyn, with the details on that. Kayla, good morning. Carrie, good morning to you. And yeah, a quiet borough park this morning is a sharp contrast to what we saw here just last night. Police tell us there were no arrests made, but at least one person did have to be hospitalized after a fight broke out among the protesters. Members of this Jewish community say they're being unfairly targeted by the governor. Hundreds of members of the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community taking to the streets of Borough Park, mostly without masks, defying orders to disperse, and at one point, as you can see in the Citizen App video, even lighting a trash fire. All of this in protest of new restrictions imposed on neighborhoods seeing an alarming spike in coronavirus cases. Our First Amendment, religious rights to practice our religion in any way we want. The Jewish community saying Governor Cuomo is singling them out because of comments alongside slides like this. We have had religious gatherings that have been uh, circulated on social media for weeks and action was not taken. That action, the governor says, has to be taken or more lives will be lost to the virus. Borough Park, now one of nine New York City neighborhoods being called the Red Zone. There are also Red Zones in Nassau, Orange, and Rockland counties, all areas with predominantly Orthodox Jewish communities. It's out of respect and it's out of love, and it's because I want to protect them. Those red zone neighborhoods will be largely shut down with houses of worship limited to 10 people. Only essential businesses like groceries will remain open. It's back to takeout only and all schools, public and private, will be shut down. Surrounding it, the orange zone where houses of worship are limited to 25 people. Gatherings of no more than 10 people, no indoor dining, closing high risk non-essential businesses like gyms and salons and closing schools. We've been here. This is deja vu. Then there are the yellow zones, where schools will remain open, but students will be tested weekly. Haskell Bennett is a community activist for the Orthodox community in Brooklyn. This is not the way to fight. If the community feels that they are being unfairly targeted, they will not and are not going to cooperate. In order to be successful, we need to... This is also, of course, a devastating setback for thousands of local businesses who now have to shut their doors for at least two more weeks. The governor is giving local governments until tomorrow to put all of this into effect. For now, we're live in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Bianca, I'll send it back inside to you. Kayla, thank you so much for the update.